Hey kids, welcome to Shape Practice. Today we are going to learn about shapes. Let's take a look at some of these shapes. You may recognize some of these shapes, but others you may not know. Each shape has attributes that set them apart from other shapes. Learning these can help us know which shape is which. So let's take a closer look. Here we have a triangle. But what makes this shape a triangle? For a shape to be a triangle, it must have three sides and three angles. This shape has one, two, three sides. OK, it has three sides, but does it have three angles? Well, the angle is where two straight sides join together. Sometimes the angles are called corners. We can see that this triangle has one, two, three angles. So this shape is a triangle because it has three sides and three angles. Now how about this shape? It looks a lot like the other shape, but it's more squished. Is this still a triangle? Well, let's count the sides and angles and see what it is. OK, we have one, two, three sides, and one, two, three angles. Three sides and three angles. That means that it is a triangle. Great job, guys. OK, let's look at some more shapes. Now we're going to look at quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is any shape that has four sides and four angles. Many shapes can fit the attributes of a quadrilateral. Here are a couple quadrilaterals. Let's learn the names of these shapes. The first shape is called a square. The next shape is called a rectangle. What is this next shape? Great job! This is a square just like the other one. What is this last shape called? You got it! This is another rectangle. All of these shapes are quadrilaterals because they have four sides and four angles. Wow! These shapes have a lot of sides and angles. Let's count how many sides are on this shape. There's one, two, three, four, five. How many angles do you see? Five. It has five angles. A shape that has five sides and five angles is called a pentagon. There are so many different shapes that can make a pentagon. It's really awesome, guys. Go home and draw some. Now let's look at this shape here. It's another shape with a lot of sides and angles. How many sides and angles can you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six angles. Wow, that's a lot. A shape with six sides and six angles is called a hexagon. You can draw all of these shapes by counting sides and angles. Great job again. You guys are awesome. But how are we going to remember all these shape names? We've learned so many. Let's make a list to help us remember everything we've learned. Here we have a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and a hexagon. Tri means three. That's why a triangle has three sides and three angles. The word quad means four. That's why a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. Pent means five, which is why a pentagon has five sides and five angles. And hex means six, so it has six sides and six angles. Phew, that's a lot to remember. Thanks for learning shapes with me today, guys. It's been awesome. We'll see you next time.